Greetings team. Welcome to Monday Morning Pearls brought to you by Span the Chasm. My name is Randy Reimersma. Before we get into the pearl, I want to encourage you to go out and listen to our podcast, Uncommon Sales Success. It's a compilation of interviews with sales leaders across the space. Some great learnings in here. Why does it matter to you? Because there's very practical and immediately actionable advice that's going to come out of these things. Learnings from mistakes, uh, best practices that we're seeing playing out in the field, stuff that's going to help you be more successful immediately. Where do you go get them? Go to span the chasm forward slash podcast. All the information you need is there. It'll point you to all the different platforms that you might like. So with that, on to this week's Monday Morning Pearl. Hey team, jumping right in. Just was talking with the sales leader this last week and uh, they were in agony. Tons of work on their plate, lots of stuff that has to get done. And I asked them, hey, what's your strategy on delegating some of these things out? And I could hear the eye roll. Randy, I want to delegate these things out, but I'm not sure I can trust my team, but they're not going to get it done the right way, but it's going to look bad if it doesn't go well. Here's what I know. We're all busy as heck. You got tons of things on your plate. Delegation is required if you are going to be successful. You look at anybody that's had material success, they are excellent at saying no to things and other things they are very good at delegating. So here at Span the Chasm, as you know, we care about you. There's a th three steps that you can take that's going to help you be much, much more successful in your delegation process. Number one is actually delegating the task. If I delegate a task to Ken, one of our senior consultants, I clearly define what the task is, what the expected outcomes are, and what success will look like with that. The reason I'm hammering this is so many people delegate a vague idea. We must be crystal clear in this thing. If you have any doubts on this, go read our blog about lessons from my fourth grade teacher, Miss Millie, and the importance of giving very, very clear direction. We must give that task to somebody with very concise and clear boundaries around what it looks like and what success will look like. Step number two, and this is the hard part, we must empower them. And empowering them means letting them know what resources they have at their disposal, who they can talk to, what assets they have, previous studies, whatever that might be. But we must give them control of the resources that are going to be used to carry out this important project. They must have the ability to move. They must be empowered to do that. I'm going to give away my age here a little bit. One of my favorite presidents, Ronald Reagan, uh, he had a great statement, right? Trust but verify. The third step is the trust process. And this is where uh, I really want to make sure you, you kind of lean in on this concept a little bit. The idea of trusting is not giving someone a task and then if it's due on the 15th, not checking with them until the 14th. Your trust process should have validation and verification steps in it. If it's a three-week project, maybe on Thursday we'll go through a framework or you know, kind of a, a, a wireframe description of what it's going to look like. And then the following Tuesday at a meaningful milestone, we're going to look at like what the data construct looks like or what the ideal target market is going to be for this or what the whatever the elements are going to be. We're going to build into this process moments where we can validate and verify that things are going the way they should be or if they're yellow or red status, we can remediate them immediately. So trusting is not letting go blindly. It is building that inspection process. We must inspect what we expect. So as we're going through this process of delegating, which is incredibly important for your team to grow in their skill sets and you to get everything done that you need to, there's three elements we got to do. Number one is delegate. Here is the task that I want you to do. Here's what it looks like. This is what success will look like at the end of this thing. We tell them what the outcomes are, but we don't prescribe how they're going to do it. Number two, we must empower them and that's resourcing them, giving them what they need to be successful in this endeavor. And the third part is this concept of trusting them, but validating at meaningful milestones along the way so that if something is yellow or if part of this is red, we can do some remediation around that. Here's why I care about this for you so much. Because if you don't delegate, this thing, this fatal flaw that I see play out so much will bury your ability to be successful long term in your mission. Heroism does not scale. You simply cannot do everything. You cannot affect every process. You cannot be involved in every deal. 
Everything that happens cannot have your DNA on it. You must let go. Heroism does not scale. And until you learn how to delegate well, you will always be stuck wearing the cape. And that's going to choke you out at some point. So here's my advice to you. Let's learn how to delegate. Let's put these three elements in place so that you can stop killing yourself and help your people grow because they will get some more responsibility and skills. And you will find more confidence and velocity in the things that are getting done in your organization. You know I love coaching folks on this kind of stuff. If we can have a meaningful conversation with you about it, please reach out to us. Here are all the ways you can get in touch with us. We'd love to talk to you about this. We care deeply about this topic. Until then, have a great day.